you know, to anybody that was saying there's going to be a deal, uh, they should just admit that that was pure speculation. Uh, so to the extent that that was the only basis for the rally that we got off the Christmas Eve low, then you could argue that it's gone a little bit too far. I think you had other reasons behind the rally, not least being unbelievably washed out sediment and what was a pretty strong set of breath conditions in the early stages of the rally. But clearly now we're at a point where we're at the mercy of every tweet and propaganda videos. And I think the more important part is that there's more meat on the bones right now. You know, last fall it was a bit more esoteric. Some companies were talking about the effects, but was more through the confidence channels. Now we're seeing the companies actually talk about the direct impact. Walmart CFO last week saying we're going to pass these prices on to the consumer. Mm -hmm. Major reports out, one by NBER, saying Americans are bearing the brunt of this, one by Goldman Sachs recently as well. So I think it's a bit more concrete than it's been in the past, hence the volatility. And David, the sector rotation is interesting. So now leading the year, we have real estate. Technology has slipped into second place. The NASDAQ today is the worst performer. And we're talking, we're seeing more and more articles about a, a kind of tech cold war with China. So what are investors to do here? Should they follow these new trends that are playing out? I think it's important to take some money off the table to, to look for defense at this point. So Lizanne pointed out some of the things that drove the market year to date. One of the things that I think has been overlooked is a decline in earnings growth expectations. And that's continuing. And that'll get even more pronounced if the trade deal doesn't get done. And in that case, I don't know what we're going to look to to drive stocks higher. Is a preemptive Fed rate cut the ticket? Is a Fed rate cut in September, December going to drive stocks higher? I think by that point, it may be too late. And so I think investors need to be looking at sectors like health care. Um, I'm not a big fan of utilities and consumer staple, but health care had the highest revenue growth of all the sectors uh, coming out of the first quarter earnings reports. And the valuation is very cheap. My gosh, it's up 4% year to date. So let's, uh, let's look at some opportunities there. You know, Lizanne, in the past six months, I can think of two very glaring instances where if you had gone along with the consensus, uh, you'd have been real wrong. And, and I think that's one of the lessons that keeps hitting me, at least, over the head, that when, you, when investors follow the consensus, whether it's on trade or whether it's on the idea that interest rates are going to go up this year, the economy is going to slow this year, if you do that and put your money behind that consensus, often it's a risk. Well, if the consensus um, comes as a result of a market moving in one direction, then you get the follow on and the, the performance chasing. And that's that's typical. I don't think there's anything terribly unique about that environment. But on trade, back to the initial point, yes, I, I found it odd that the consensus built around a deal being imminent. It was purely speculating on the motives behind both sides. And what we, I think, certainly know now more so than maybe what we did a couple of months ago is that the duration of the game being played by the Chinese side versus the U.S. side is just very different. And I think China is, the China side is reinforcing that this is a very long game for them. And the fact that there are no meetings set up right now, we're not getting some of the more positive rhetoric. Uh, that's an excuse for a market that I, I would agree with David. I think we were running into some real hurdles from an earnings perspective. You really lost the macro conditions that supported multiple expansion hmm. in the early part of the rally. And now I think the market's at the point where, boy, we want to actually see some decent earnings growth. And I think the tariff story is actually a dampening effect on that, not, hmm. not one that's going to help.